So currently we're setting up uh, geophones, which are listening devices. We're also going to set a charge off down here, a dynamite blast. Uh, actually, it's a cap blasting primer. And that will uh, generate energy into the rocks. The more geophones you have set up, the clearer the picture. I'm standing against the south wall here. Our geophones are deployed along this wall here, separated five feet apart. We have a total of 24 on this portion of the fissure. On the other side of the fissure is the rest of which brings a whole total to 72 geophones. Every geophone had cables connecting to it, and all those cables would run hundreds and hundreds of feet back to the seismograph and miles and miles of cables. I guess you're ready to go though, right? Well, give me 10 minutes more, I'll fire these machines back up. Okay, copy. Somewhere down here, it's a trigger. It's trigger happy. And then we set off the explosions. John, do you want to fire it up? Coming up. <laughs> well, you got us all scared. Now <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll say it's not a science. There it is. Oh, we're really going to see it this time, man. This is going to be the ticket. Hey, no profanity. This is gonna be the goddamn ticket. <laughs> All the data would come in, and the next process, of course, is for John to import it into the Sun workstation, and none of this was done quickly, especially back in the early 90s. The, the software available back in those days was limited. John was hand coding his own software to start uh, creating a visual representation of it. I can make these labels bigger, you know. Not That's perfect. No, I like I zooming in on it. Like that, see? Really Look at the screen. Big. See how big I can make them? Now put them back. So after the initial seismic study, John gave us a 3D model, but it was incomplete. Our original seismic program allowed us to shoot the mountain by putting geophones in the middle and sending signals from both sides of the mountain and collect the data this way. We had two-dimensional data at this point. What we're missing is the vertical access from the top down. We needed to get sensors deeper under the mountain to collect the data from a charge that's set up at the top of the peak, through the mountain, to the bottom of the peak. So with this new information and the clock ticking with the military, we realized we needed outside help. 